the new Buki multivapor is a 12 position parallel evaporator. The key features of the multivapor compared to other parallel evaporators are several. Uh, first of which is it allows you to multiply your existing rotary evaporator. You simply hook up the multivapor to your vacuum source on your existing rotary evaporator. So the multivapor utilizes your rotary evaporator condenser, vacuum controller, and vacuum pump. So this allows you to minimize the amount of bench space required for your parallel evaporation. And secondly, since you already know how to operate your rotary evaporator vacuum system, the ease of operation for the uh, multivapor is simply set the temperature and adjust the rotation. Uh, another key feature of the multivapor is that it adapts to your workflow. We have several adapters that allow you to utilize different vessels for your parallel evaporation re requirements. Uh, for example, we have an adapter that fits to a threaded test tube. So you have a sealing mechanism in the top or a falcon tube with a pointed bottom, a scintillation vial, flat bottom, or a parallel synthesis reaction vessel from Radley's. And the other benefit is the fact that we, you can see that we have different shapes for these reactors, uh, different lengths, diameters, and also um, the bottoms vary in configuration. Uh, but the benefit is the fact that the multivapor uses water as a heat transfer fluid. So we don't have to worry about how the shape of the bottom of the vessel is um, in the heat source for the solvent removal. The price for the multivapor is very attractive. It allows you to do 12 parallel evaporations without having to buy an, uh, an extra vacuum pump, vacuum control source, or a large centrifuge, for example. The visibility of it is obviously beneficial as well because we have glass and, and liquid water. We can visualize our evaporation procedure um, in process. Well, for your, your uh, sample workflow, you simply place the rack on the stand. You can prepare your samples. While you're preparing your samples, you could adjust the temperature of your um, water ahead of time. Simply take your vessel, prepare your sample, put it into the lid, and then transfer it to the instrument. The next step is to put the lid onto the vessels. So you simply lift the lid from the holder and you can see that we have individual seals for each vessel, therefore uh, enabling a tight seal for your vacuum control as well as eliminating any chance of cross-contamination. Simply place the lid on top, tighten it down, adjust your agitation, your temperature setting necessary and start your vacuum.